Hi guys, in today's episode we will be talking about rug pulls and how to avoid them. I think this is an important topic considering the uncertainty that so many people have when it comes to the legitimacy of the project they decided to invest in. And those who do get rugged could have avoided it by simply putting in a few hours of work into their research and learning how to avoid common mistakes that lead to money loss. Rockpool is an event in which the owner of the cryptocurrency abandons their project after stealing money from people who invest in it. There are different types of rug pools, but the majority of them follow the same script, which is why it is possible to learn how to avoid them. The first type is called liquidity provider rug pool. After a new token was created, it became popular and even garnered hype. Lots of people started to invest in it. Suddenly, the creator dumps their stakes at once and cashes out the money. In the end, the investors are left with a useless and worthless token. The second type is a manipulation rug pull. It describes the situation in which the creator of the token leaves a backdoor in order to have a selfish financial advantage. For example, it can be a function in the contract that limits the number of people who can sell their token at a particular time. Trust me, there were cases when investors bought tokens but couldn't sell them later. Another situation is when the creator can mint more tokens through one function, thus uh, basically creating a new supply for their wallet. So how to avoid these situations? The first and easiest thing to do is to use a third-party platform to check whether the project you are interested in is a rock. For example, Token Sniffer. Here you can search for a token and see risk-related data regarding it. Uh, there is a section called Latest Scams where you can find a list of scam projects that appeared on the market recently. Another good tool is called RugDoc.io. When you search for a project here, you can see the risk indicator and the reason why the project might look sus. Apart from using third-party tools, you can check the code manually, though it's a bit more difficult and does require programming knowledge. You would need to go to blockchain scan site and check the contract source code. For example, if a token was executed on Ethereum blockchain, go to etherscan.io, search for a token's address, go to the contracts page, press on the contract button and review the code step by step. By doing so, you can actually learn a lot of useful information. If the code is 90% similar to other projects, this might actually be a red flag. If there are unnecessary functions, they might contain risks for investors. And if there are any backdoors, that's not a good sign either. And if checking code or programming knowledge sounds scary, don't worry. Solidity language is very easy, so you can spend a couple of weeks to learn the basics. There are a bunch of online courses and YouTube videos to help you with that. While we are on the subject of scan sites, there is another cool feature called comments where you can find reviews left by those who bought the token. Trust me, if the token is a rug pull, you will find plenty of hateful comments. That is, if someone already got rugged. So again, don't make comments your one and only tool. It should be one of many. Read the project-related documentation before investing. Check the white paper, the creators and their social media. Talking about white paper, it should be a well-written document that covers all aspects of the project. The idea and the delivery are equally important. If it sounds like a sales pitch, it is a rug pull. Check developers' holdings or the amount of the token the team of the creators is keeping. In other words, the percentage that is owned by the team of creators. Too few holders indicates a big risk and the most control the team has. Obviously, there are cases when the holders are fake and multiple wallets are actually owned by the same people. So check the time of the token's creation, transaction and amount in those wallets. Since any transaction on the blockchain is traceable, you will notice if something is wrong. Example, if let's say at the time of tokens creation, 500 wallets with almost the same amount of this token suddenly appear 
it's a red flag. My suggestion would be if you learn that the team of creators has more than 10% of the stake of total supply, forget about this project. One person or a small group of people can drive price down really easy and quickly by selling their stake. You don't need this risk. You definitely need to know the token's maximum supply or how much of the token is available on the market. Why? Because if maximum supply is unlimited, the inflation levels can be huge over time. Another important aspect to consider is liquidity. Liquidity is the total value of token traded on the open market. Liquidity is created by people or by actual creator of the token. They might provide a small liquidity which can be easily manipulated. So be aware of it. If the liquidity of the token is small, avoid the project. My last suggestion would be to stop listening to everything what you see and hear because a lot of it, frankly, is meaningless noise. If you see a big influencer promoting their token, my suggestion would be to ignore it because the majority of influencers do not understand what they are talking about when it comes to crypto. Harsh but true. They are in it for a quick buck. They have been paid to promote a product which they might actually not understand. Once again, I don't mean all influencers. Here I'm talking about those whose channels have nothing to do with finance or investments or who have a history of fraudulent behavior. Of course, among many rubbish and fake ones, there are many high value and good quality projects out there and they deserve attention of the community. However, in order to distinguish between those to ignore and the, the ones to invest in, you need to do your due diligence, research, learn and have your own opinion when it comes to hype. In conclusion, if you found any rug pull projects or participated in them, remove your investments as soon as possible. Notify as many people as you can. There are plenty of online sources where you can do that. Trust me, your feedback and comments can prevent others from losing money. This was our episode. This is Bunny Money Channel. None of the information provided is financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing. I'm Vlad. See you in the next episode.